Uh, good afternoon all. I, I'm making this small little video because I think that um, Minister of Police Becky Chaley, who was dismissed as National Commissioner because he was corrupt and now thinks he's Chuck Norris, um, has way gone beyond his powers. I think there is something brewing in the background and whoever controls the police and the army controls the country in a, in a total way and they can do what they like. You know, Becky Chaley is a disgrace. And I think that it's time that he gets removed from office and it's a time that he, he, he concentrates. He talks about alcohol and he talks about cigarettes. Obviously the crime is down because there's not many people on the street, you know, there's hundreds of police vans, but we don't see them during normal time. During normal time, to protect our elderly, we don't see them. So I think Becky Taylor should take a back seat unless he's got dirt on Ramaphosa and the rest. It's disgraceful that this one man can think he can run our country and he's corrupt and that was proven that he's corrupt please South Africa take note huh? that man is trying to do something and before we open up our eyes we're going to see there's problems God bless you all now good morning I'm just making a, a follow up of what I said yesterday about Becky Chelly, the Minister of Police. You know, if I want cigarettes, I'll go to any Pakistani, Bangladeshi, and I've proved it because I'm, I'm, I smoke cigarettes. But um, our old people or people of um, who don't know the townships or don't know the even the Cape Flats, and I'll say that with respect because I, I know the Cape Flats, would be able to get cigarettes. It's easy. And Becky Taylor, I don't know what this is. I, I don't know what his aim is. And what powers he's got to do that. Even with people, I'm an alcoholic, I'm 15 years sober. If a person has a whiskey at night or a glass of wine, why can't they? It's not illegal. It's the only country that I know, and I've luckily been around, around this world, is that where I can smoke I can't smoke cigarettes, but we got. I can't drink alcohol, which I don't want to do. But for the other people, but I can smoke dope. I can smoke dope that causes psychosis in our children. But the Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, and this is not xenophobia. Man. This is just skelemgeit that Becky Chaley thinks that, that he can run this country. Why didn't he look at the old age home? I phoned my mom this morning who's got dementia. I've had to go to a lawyer to instruct counsel, senior counsel advocate, to, con to approach the constitutional court to see my mom if they extend this lockdown or if the lockdown is extended that I can't go to the old age home where my mother is calling for me all the time. We should get our priorities straight. There's an agenda here against, against people. There's an agenda against a certain section of the South African public. If we're just going to stand and let it happen, I say rise up. Man. Rise up. Let's make it either social media or whatever. We, we removed Zuma, remember? And now we've got Ramaphosa who's, led, who, who's leading people like who don't know what they're doing. Becky Chelly has been and will forever be a clown. Good morning on the Sunday morning. Um, I think if you're reading the posts that are flying around social media, us as South Africans must ask, why is Becky Chaley, a famous minister of police, who was dismissed as police commissioner and declared to be unfit to be in office, cancelling neighborhood watches, cancelling farm watches, not looking after the police properly, how many police have been have been diagnosed with a virus. There's anarchy at play here. This man is trying to strip any piece of security that sections of the South African public have got. Wake up, South Africa. This man is dangerous, but there's obviously an agenda behind it. Who is behind Becky Chaley's moves? Someone is behind Becky Chaley's moves. 
You must remember that he was a long time ally of Jacob Zuma. Please, South Africa, yo, we're staring anarchy in the face.